Thank you so much for spending your day as you have today. My name is Doreen Dodgen McGee, and I'm a psychologist, mother, activist, friend, and auntie. My sister-in-law, Laura, made me an aunt on Valentine's Day, which is my favorite day of the year. In the following years, she added two to my quiver of nieces, and I loved celebrating the mundane and monumental moments of life with my three nieces, especially after moving my sister-in-law and them out of their home and away from her abusive husband and their abusive father. She came to live with my mother-in-law and had a restraining order against him. The night before my eldest niece's first day of kindergarten, I hosted a backpack packing party where we stuffed her book bag full of love notes and school supplies. I had no idea that it would be the last time I would get to pour auntie love all over all of them. The next day, angry over missing the excitement of the first day of school, my brother-in-law purchased a gun, shot his way into my mother-in-law's home and shot and killed Laura, Sarah, Rachel, and April. Sarah was five years old. Rachel was three years old. And April was only five months old. My mother-in-law witnessed the murders, was shot, but survived. And I became her caregiver for the rest of her life. The trauma that she and the small community where this occurred endured was unspeakable. For a long time, I didn't tell our story because I thought it was just that, our story. Horrifically, however, I have learned that our story is America's story. More than half of all mass shootings in the US are domestic violence related. Countless women like Laura do all that they can to protect their children and can't because of easy access to firearms, even when restraining orders are in place. As you learn of my four family members taken by gun and my mother-in-law and Sarah's kindergarten classmates, some of whom witnessed the scene, I implore you to knit your heart to their hearts to determine to do whatever is your part to do to end the horror and trauma that gun violence inflicts upon not only the family members of those taken, but also the communities that they live in. My nieces had classmates and neighbors, piano teachers, dance instructors, Sunday school teachers, and friends who loved them just as much as this auntie did. And none of us will ever be the same. Thank you for dedicating your day to informing yourself. Now it's time to get active. Join me in honoring the countless women and children who no longer have voices in using your voice loudly and consistently in our fight to end gun violence and domestic violence. For Laura, Sarah, Rachel, and April, and the nearly 70 women killed every month by gun, step up and step out for all of us and all of you. Never give up. <laughs>